This small rubber-like object is bridging the gap between robot and life. And it's weirder than you think. Researchers at Oregon State University are 3D printing shape-changing materials that can be programmed to expand and contract when exposed to heat. These materials are called liquid crystalline elastomers, or soft motors. They're a flexible polymer network that changes shape drastically when exposed to stimuli. They do this by converting thermal energy from sources like the sun or alternating currents into mechanical energy that can be stored and used as needed. One of the major breakthroughs in that is figuring out that we could use magnets to align these motors and use them for functional applications directly after 3D printing. That was Devin Roach, an assistant professor for the College of Engineering. He has been leading the research on the next generation of soft motor construction through 3D printing. So soft motors are a lot like regular motors that we traditionally think of. They use electrical signals to provide mechanical energy in the form of work. This is due to a response between the polymer chains becoming aligned and unaligned repeatedly when the certain external stimulus is applied. Because of that, researchers are able to control these devices in viscous states like honey and elastic states like a rubber band that can return to its original shape after stress is removed. The shape-changing properties that these liquid crystal elastomer materials have is around 50% shape change actuation that can be done repeatedly and reversibly in both directions. 3D printing has been around since the early 1980s when the first patent related to the tech was filed. Known as a rapid prototyping machine, later in the early 2000s, 3D printing became a household name when multiple product brands were launched. What we use is the digital light processing printer, which is a resin printer. And essentially how that works is you have a vat of resin and then a build plate that gets lowered down into that vat and then underneath you have a projector that's really accurate up to like 15 microns, which is really, really precise. That was Carter Balka, a fourth year mechanical engineering student that got his start in 3D printing from the 3D printing club here at OSU. The resin cures with UV, so when you lower the build plate down and then you project a UV image, it will then pull the plate up and that will basically just cure a layer of the structure you're trying to print. So if you printed a cube, what it would do is it would basically slice that into like 100 layers, say, and each layer go down and cure an individual layer, pull up and continuously build the cube like that. He is aiming to pursue a PhD in shape memory materials like soft motors. We've been able to print samples that are about a couple centimeters, particularly on the digital light processed resin printer. We're limited to kind of the vat size, um, about two centimeters, maybe three by three centimeters. The shape changing abilities of soft motors rely on the alignment of their molecules to form complicated shapes in specific ways when heated. Roach worked with collaborators from Harvard, the University of Colorado, and the Sandia and Lawrence Livermore National Laboratories to address this challenge. Previous science has shown that these liquid crystal polymers can be aligned using magnetic fields, but those magnetic fields required like up to two tesla of strength. What we showed in our work is if we perform some simple materials chemistry, we can actually reduce that by almost 100 times to align those liquid crystal messages. This study is supported by the National Science Foundation and the Air Force Office of Scientific Research. So these materials are going to be game changers for the way in which we fabricate robots because traditionally we think of hard, rigid robots, but now we can move into the world of soft robotics. And that's just scratching the surface of the potential applications for soft motors like these. They could one day play a role in space exploration as actuators for automated systems, such as radar development, or even inside our bodies as implantable medical devices to deliver drugs to targeted locations. I, I really find this material fascinating. From the minute I got the opportunity to work in the lab, I spent pretty much the entire time just reading about the material. 
and that built so much just excitement for me because I realized that there's so many different avenues for innovation. I found during this work that the most surprising part of this technology was that these invisible external fields like magnetic fields or temperature fields can be used to change the material very dramatically. The world of invisible things is something that we can see through science.